You know, when Money in the Bank was scheduled for Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, the expectation was that Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar would both be on the show. Hopefully not against each other, but they would both be on the show. Uh, They were both on the original poster for it, as was Charlotte Flair. Well, plans change. And once the show got moved to the smaller MGM Grand Garden Arena, all of a sudden Roman Reigns was removed from the poster. And Cody Rhodes took his place, as he did in the advertising for Hell in a Cell. And now Cody is off the show too. But WWE has made the decision to not have Roman Reigns at Money in the Bank after all. This coming from Justin Barrasso of Sports Illustrated. Brock Lesnar is not on the current poster either. Neither is Charlotte Flair. Even though Andrade was back on Dynamite this week, he and Charlotte just got married a few weeks ago. Uh, There's no word on when she might be back. But the plan had been for Roman Reigns to defend his unified title against Matt Riddle at Money in the Bank. And then Randy Orton at SummerSlam and Drew McIntyre in September at Clash at the Castle which we know is going to happen because they already had Drew go out on TV last week and flat out say that he would be challenging Roman Reigns for the championship in Cardiff. The way things have been going in wrestling lately with injuries, Drew McIntyre might want to be extra careful. We learned on Friday that the match between Riddle and Roman Reigns will not take place in Money in the Bank. It will take place this Friday on SmackDown. So it'll be on Fox, not on Peacock. What, what other animal can we uh, throw in there? We have a fox, we have a peacock. I don't know, but it's going to be happening on Fox this Friday. I could see Roman Reigns at the end of this match killing Matt Riddle, which leads to a Randy Orton return to avenge his bro. And then, uh, oh, I almost lapsed into Russo there. Bro! He's going to avenge his bro! And then Randy Orton goes on to challenge for the championship at SummerSlam. You know, Roman Reigns, when you look at the lay of the land right now, he's got a decent number of potential challengers lined up right now, including Riddle and Orton. Now, nobody believes that Shinsuke Nakamura has a chance in hell, and he doesn't, but you could get a TV main event out of that like they're doing with Riddle this week. Bobby Lashley absolutely could be a contender. But the word is that WWE has no plans for Lashley to challenge Roman Reigns. Even though we saw Lashley after his match at Hell in a Cell, he was holding up a replica belt from somebody in the front row. Everybody popped. And it seemed to indicate that he might want to go after Roman Reigns soon. That is apparently not in the cards. And then there's Drew McIntyre. So Roman has enough people lined up for the next few months that they could go with, potentially. That's not really the issue. The issue is that Roman Reigns is not around. You know, when the news came out last month that he had signed a new deal with a reduced schedule, the word from WWE was that "Ah, that's not a big deal. It's just, it's much ado about nothing. It's just a reduction in some small market live event dates that he's not going to have to work anymore. He's still going to make most, if not all, of the TVs and the pay-per-views. Well, so far that hasn't been the case at all. He's been absent from television now for a few weeks. He missed Hell in a Cell. He was advertised locally for SmackDown and Baton Rouge on Friday, but then he got pulled at the last minute. He wasn't even at the show. He'll be back on TV this week, and then it looks like he's going to miss Money in the Bank also. When they decided to unify the titles of WrestleMania, my thought was, you know, A, they should unify the titles because there should be just one top champion. That's that's my personal preference. Even though I'm not sure, (laughs) I mean, look, let's be honest, by the time we get to Survivor Series, they're going to be split again anyway, because they love doing the whole Raw versus SmackDown champion against champion gimmick. But I thought it could work with Roman Reigns, because he wasn't Brock Lesnar. Brock wasn't going to be around much after WrestleMania. We haven't seen him at all since WrestleMania. Roman was a full-time guy. So they put both belts on Roman Reigns only to turn around a month later and sign him to a new deal that reduces the number of shows that he appears on. They avoided putting both titles on Brock Lesnar only to put both titles on Brock Lesnar. Roman should just walk around in flannel with a little ponytail on the back of his head and get it over with. 
Why would you put both belts on somebody and then have them work fewer dates? So when you build everything around one guy for so long and that one guy isn't around or he gets hurt, like what just happened with Cody Rhodes, it hurts the entire show. Yeah, it's one thing to skip a week here and there. If they don't have anything good for Roman Reigns to be doing on a particular week on SmackDown, then he shouldn't be there. You know, good, keep him off the show. I'm not saying he has to be on the show every single week. But a lot of these shows, these these pay-per-views, the champion should be there. Because now, he's the only champion they have. 